Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about some of the interview questions that were asked in a company recently. So let us thank our subscriber who has shared us uh, these questions and his experience so that it can help others who are preparing so let us get started without wasting much time if you're new to my channel don't forget to like share and subscribe so i felt you know these are something like uh, very new questions of all that we have seen so far so the first question is uh, you know what is the difference between custom sql and initial sql so whenever you are connecting to a database okay not to any flat files kind of thing but when you are connecting to any database so the first thing is we see we can either pull any of the tables that we want directly to get the data. But if at all we want to, you know, customize or, you know, do some manipulation or, you know, uh, to that query, we can write a custom SQL here. Okay. So simply drag and drop this. So you, here you can write whatever the query you want select. I'm simply writing select to start from EMP, a basic query and I can execute it. This is another way of bringing the data. So this is your custom SQL where it allows us to write the query. Whereas initial SQL is what you want to pass before you know this query is being executed. Like say, you know, your database name, your database connection details, your schema names, you know, your temporary tables that you want to create, all of that, such things you can do it. So where is that option? Under the you know database name, if you click on this arrow mark, you have three options: edit connection. Using this, you can edit the connection wherever you want, and you can click on initial SQL from here, and you can paste that. Or you can also click on this, and you have an option called as initial SQL, and here you can pass the information. So mostly, it will be like you know your database names, your connection details, your default your default path where you want to do that, you can do here, okay? So remember this, it is very important in terms of real-time as well. Next is what is difference between a physical layer and a logical layer in Tableau. Now in Tableau, whenever we want to connect it to multiple tables, we do use the concept of joins and, you know, unions. So, and, in latest releases of Tableau, we have this concept where Tableau is bringing in the concept of, uh, you know, relationships and all. So physical layer is the layer where we have the actual join that is being happening. Like say, this is orders table, right? If I click on this open, this is where your actual table is present. Now, if I bring in people here, this is where we are making the join using different join types and all. So this is your physical layer. Whereas logical layer allows us to, you know, handle this different relationships that we are doing on top of the data. Now, if I close this, you know, and when I try to make it, this is our logical layer. So in logical layer, we make relationships using the concept called as a doodles. Now you see orders and peoples have brought in, but and there is a small line that is being connecting this to this. So this is called as a doodle. I can bring in multiple and it will automatically establish. So this is again handling multiple, you know, uh, data from multiple tables and effective way of doing that. Okay, so this is this is your difference between a physical layer and a logical layer. So you can tell how the joins occur at a physical layer, all the different types of joins that we have. And in logical layer, you can talk about the relationship concept. Okay. So what is the difference between date and make date? Okay. So this these are two, again, interesting functions that are available in uh, Tableau. Date function, if at all I am using, like say, I'm just converting my order date before I do anything into date and type. Okay, now when we pull this into our view and I'm making it exact date here, just to show you, it will give us date with the time, right? With the timestamp we are getting. Whereas if I'm trying to use a date on top of this, okay, I'm trying to write as a date, date of my order date. Now, what will happen when I use this? It will give me only date part from my field, ignoring the timestamp that is available in my 
value. So if I'm trying to use here, apply. Same thing if I try to bring here and make it exact date. I will not see the timestamp. So that is your date function. This one, okay. Whereas make date is again a different function which allows us to create date, make date. Whereas we need to pass values, like say make date of, we need to pass these values. Like, you know, your year is coming from a different field. Your month is coming from a different field. Your day is coming from a different field. In such cases, you can use make date to create a date from your existing date. See here, returns a date value constructed from a year, month, and a day of month, like that. Okay, so we need to pass values. Like, say, I'm passing uh, 2014, okay, or 2024 month is 04 and uh, 01. If I click on this apply, okay. The field that it created is of date type. See here, we got calendar symbol. Now, when I pull this into my view, it will give us today's date. I can drop it here as well. Exit it. So that is difference between your date and make date. Again, very important function in terms of real time. So we have created a date by manually passing year part, month part, and date part. So next is, can we use three measures on dual axis? So this is a little confusing to many of them. And I think, you know, you will tell us no. Let us try to see if you can really do that. What I'm doing is I'm trying to take my order date here. I'll convert it back into date. I'm just dropping it onto my view. And I'm taking two measures for now, discount and profit. Now, if at all I have to create a concept of dual axis, what do we do generally? We click on the second measure and we use a dual axis concept here, right? So it it will merge our two axes together. Now, if at all I want to bring in third, I'm simply taking this third and I'm dropping it here whenever I see this. Now, how many measures we have used here? We have three, we have used three measures here. We have used discount, we have used profit, we have used sales, which means the answer to this question, yes, we can use three measures in dual access concept. Next is where can we change physical year in Tableau? Okay, so here in Tableau, whenever you are connecting to database here, on the right click on your data source name here, here you have an option called as a data properties. Here by default, it will give you, you know, what is it considering for this database? Like say, what is the default calendar? Okay, or you know, when is the week start date? So here week start date is Sunday. When is the fiscal year start? So here it is January. If at all you want to change it back to April, you can do it. So that way, Tableau will automatically adjust okay, everything that you need. But this, if at all you are trying to implement in real time, first step you have to perform this so that you know your calendars will set and then you can start working on that. Okay, so this is where you can change. How will you calculate YTD was the next question that was asked. So why, what is YTD? Like I, you know, we have uh, discussed this in a recent video. I can paste that video in the description. You can watch it. Year, YTD means year till date, right? So we are in April 2024, right? Which means we need all the sales that are in our current year and which are less than today, right? year till date function. So let us try to build that. I'm taking my order date and I'm also considering at a month level. Okay, so that I can show you all that we are getting. So I'm just taking here month. So 2021, we should not get. 2022, we should not get. 2023, we should not get. We should get only 2024, that to till April only, right? So I'm just writing a calculated field here to build the logic YTD, okay? So first thing is, I'm simply writing year of my order date is equal to year of today, which means I am getting sorry, 
sorry getting current year from this so i will know what is my year current year from my today function and from that i am taking only year part so this will match it to our current year right so let us check that i'll take this and i'll drop it on label for now now see here only 2024 is true right now rest of them are false now what else do we need in 24 everything is becoming true that we don't need we need all those dates that are less than today right so i'm just trying to update my logic here and uh, month of order date is less than or equal to month of today so let us see what will happen now if you see we are getting only till april everything is becoming true okay now again if at all you want to include a day also you can write something like this day of order date is less than today or simply we can write it as and order date less than or equal to today so it will consider all of those dates that are less than today that's it like this you can write so if i click on apply so in april we are getting two values because you know maybe april 1st is you know uh, satisfying the conditions and others are not satisfying now i can bring only sales for such thing right how will i do that if this is statement then give me sales and it okay on top of this i am doing an aggregated called as sum i can do it like this now when i try to bring this it will be your ytd value simple here okay so this is how you can calculate your ytd value here. can we select multiple values in parameter so in a direct way if at all you want list of values to be created and selected then i think in parameters we do not have that feature where we can select multiple values but i think we using you know maybe string functions and all we can try to pass multiple values and split that and you know do some customization so that indirect way is available but if user is expecting that you know you will provide list to select multiple values then that feature is currently not available so i think that's it from my side in this video i think i hope you have learned something from this if it does don't forget to like share and you know subscribe and give your comment see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day